Hi, my name is Winta. My name is Cameron. And we're here with the Hornet Action News. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd, and we, uh, we are here to announce the announcements. So um, today is Wednesday, of course, and there's um, a lot of sports activities going on. So the boys golf team has a game versus Berlin. No, Berlin? Wait, what's the, okay, sorry. So the boys golf team has a game versus Berlin today. Um, it's a home game at three o'clock. Um, baseball also has a game against Manchester at four o'clock. Softball has a game against Manchester at Manchester. Um, and boys tennis have a game against Rocky Hill. It's a home game and that's at 345. So good luck to all the players and the sports teams. Okay, uh, congratulations to the boys tennis team for winning their fifth meet in a row by defeating the Bulks Bulkley 7-0. So um, if you are looking for extra homework help, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, are um, the days where you can get tutoring up in the library after school. Um, late bus passes will be provided and, you know, if you need help, you're more, you're more than welcome to come there. Return all overdue library books or accountabilities will be issued to all students. Yep, and if you do wanna check your accountabilities, um, the SAA office is, um, it's open today, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so the SAA office or Ms. Harris's office is open to um, this week or any other week. So go and check the bulletin, bulletin boards, see if you have um, any accountability, especially seniors, because if you don't, you can't go to prom or, you know, senior picnic and any of that. So got to get the money in. The Iron Hornet Dry Fit T-shirt sales end on Friday, May 4th. You can buy the shirt in the cafeteria at the front table. Each shirt costs $10 Thank and you, you can- Nijay Jackson, Nijay Jackson, front lobby. And you can purchase a uniform approved, and this is a uniform approved t-shirt. You can see Ms. Renko at room 213 or Ms. Juan at room 187 with questions. So um, the library is offering board games. Um, you know, put your phone away, celebrate a screen-free week with the afternoon board games in the library. Bring your friends and have some fun. It's on Wednesdays from 2.30 till 3.45. So it's just a time to just like relax and is the word decompress wait what was the word yes. yeah it's the time to decompress and get away from your phones rest your eyes your fingers your brain well it actually is stimulating your brain by playing games yeah <laughs> the uh we the hornet action news uh are looking for we, the Hornet Action News, meet at every Wednesday at room 250A, and new, new members are welcome. Mm -hmm. So today is also um, Honors and Awards Night. Um, this is a time where we celebrate hardworking students and their achievements um, and scholar. Yeah, so it's at 6 p.m., and we will have more information for you um, next week. The Environmental Club will be every Thursday after, after school in room 128A. New members are welcome and you can see Ms. Sparks or Ms. Swed. Mr. Oh, Mr. S Mr. Sparks or Mr. Swed with any questions. Yep. So the Hornet Assembly is this Friday. This is the final Honors Assembly for the 2017-2018 school year. Students are invited to um, enjoy a free breakfast in the cafeteria. Uh, grades 10 
can attend A period and grades 11 to 12 can attend B period. The Spring Instrumental Concert will be held at Friday 7.30 p.m. This will be featuring the East Hartford Orchestra, the Concert Band, the Jazz Band, the Wind Ensemble, and the Combined Symphonic Orchestra. Yep. Monday, May 7th is the end of the year meeting for the girls' soccer. It's at 2.15 in Coach P's office. This is for all who played last season and who are interested in playing in the fall. So all parents and teachers are invited to attend on Monday 14th. This will be, there will be a PTO meeting at 7 p.m. and a family engagement meeting at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And um, the top 20 students, they're having a dinner to congratulate those students with the top GPAs. Um, and it's going on on May 17th. It's a Thursday in the, uh, re at, at the facility in the Ren Rensler, Rensler Field. I can never say that. The annual principal barbecue will be on May 23rd. To be in the barbecue, you must have 10 hours for freshmen, 20 for sophomores, and 30 for juniors. This event, I mean, you must get in your service learning hours by May 15th if you would like to attend, and April 27th if you would like to be considered for awards or excellence. So, um, seniors, this is for you. Uh, National College Signing Day is May 24th. It's, um, it will be celebrated on, at each East Star for High on May 24th, and more information will be provided in your Connections classes on Friday. The Handicap Bowling needs 8 through 10 volunteers to assist with the Handicap Bowling League, which is on every Friday, 4 to 6. This opportunity is ongoing and there has been a shortage of volunteers. If you are interested, see Ms. Cody and Guidance. Mm -hmm. And um, the adult education recently started family literacy class at the New Covenant Church where adult students can bring their children uh, to class and volunteers are needed to help with childcare like playing games, reading, etc. Um, during the class times. Um, uh, it's going to be again at the New Covenant Church from 3 to 6 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, see Ms. Cody and Guidance. This is a great child, um, I mean, service learning opportunity. And if you're good with kids and if you like kids, this is definitely something that's interesting. So see Ms. Cody and Guidance. The Summer Youth Application Program is a pre a pre employment program. To join, you must be 14 or through 18 years old as of July 1st, 2018. And you must be eligible for free or reduced lunch. Questions? If you have them, you can see Miss Brown at room 120 or Miss Kanata at room 147. Mm -hmm. So the Drumming Around the World is a community uh, is a leadership program hosted by the Community Cultural Center. It's every Tuesday from three to five, and this season will entail drum circles, rhythm lessons, drum build, drum building. So please sign up and guidance if you are interested in learning more. Do I continue? Or? Yeah, you can go. Uh, the Iron Hornet Cub needs volunteers for the Iron Hornet race preparation. This of, they need help needed for the course preparation and obstacle preparation too. To name a few, this event will be happening at every Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursday, and you will gain one and a half hours to three and a half hours. You can meet in room 187 after school and see Ms. Morenko at room 213 or Ms. Vaughn at room 187 with any questions. So the Hearth at Glastonbury is an assisted living center that is looking for volunteers to assist with the games active and activities for the elderly. So please see Mrs. Messenger and Guidance if you are interested. 
The Hunger Action Team Youth Services is trying to start up a youth hunger action team to raise money for future. If you're interested in hearing more about how to join and help out, sign up in the guidance. We'll be inviting the youth service coordinators to smell to a small assembly to talk to students who express interest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the Muscular Dystrophy Association is looking to get more East Arthur High School students involved in the spring walk. That is happening June second, twenty eighteen, at Rensselaer Field. Uh, but the, and there will be informational sessions available for students who are expressing their interest. So this is again another service opportunity. The Autism Speaks Walk is now registering for. The Autism Speak Walk is no, is being held on Sunday, June third, at Rensselaer Field. Volunteers registration forms are now available in guidance offerings. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, spring sports is underway at the, at, the, at the moment, and they've been very busy. They've been winning a lot of games. They've been having a really great season, all the spring teams. And so, upcoming contests. Uh, on May 4th, we have a JV Volleyball against Glastonbury. Um, I believe. I don't know if that's a home game or not. But that's at 5 o'clock. <coughs> May 8th, we have um, Girls and Boys Track versus East Catholic at 345. Um, May 14th, we have Girls Tennis versus South Windsor at 345. And um, May 21st, we have Varsity Softball versus Manchester at 415. And lastly, May 22nd, we have Varsity base Baseball versus Windsor at 6.30 at the Dunkin' Donuts Park. And you could talk about um, upcoming events. You just say that. Okay. So for upcoming events, uh, May 19th, we'll be having the Senior Prom. And then on May 23rd, we'll, have a, we'll be having a senior picnic. May 25th will be the Iron Hornet at 3 p.m. And then on the May 30th, we'll ha be having class night at 5 through 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. So um, Friday, May 4th is School Lunch Hero Day. It's a day that was meant to honor those uh, cafeteria workers who, you know, feed us and run the school basically so um the day was inspired by children children's author and illustrator jaret cross i have no idea how to pronounce her last name krasoska okay yeah it's it was um inspired by jaret krasoska who created school lunch hero day to honor the food service employees after um, returning to his old school and finding his childhood lunch lady remained and remembered him. That's so adorable. So the student council is talking about who, who we would like to do something nice for. The group came up with the, um, the school cafeteria ladies because they support everything that the students do. Um, they go to games, buy shirts, and purchase items for fundraisers. Um, and each and every day they greet us with smile and kindness and like they bring smiles to our faces so and they've built rapport with and many students have built a rapport with their favorite lunch ladies and this is um, a way to honor that relationship so um, the student council will be honoring each cafeteria person with the bedazzled aprons which they made with each one of the cafeteria people's names on them and um so yeah, that's our way of honoring the heroes of East Arthur High and saying thank you for all that they've done for us. Students are being awarded for improving their STAR stores. If 80% of students meet their STAR growth goal, by May 31st, they will be having a Genes Day for reading. And if they meet their math score, they will be having a Jeans Day on June 1st. If 90% of students meet their SCAR goal, we will be having 
a 30 on the 31st a full dress down day for a reading and if they meet the math we'll be having a full dress down day on June 1st for if you reach your individual student goal you will be invited into the Star Gaunt Carnival. You, this event will be happening on Thursday, May 31st at 2.30 through 4 p.m. And we'll be serving pizza, ice cream, popcorn carnival, lawn games, and there will be a dunk tank. And there will possibly be more things to experience. And if you are seen if you are a senior, you will be able to be exempt. Be exempt from a final exam. And you will also be able to go to a high meadows trip. Yep. So that's like a school wide thing. But so on another note, um, uh, Lauren Crooks, a uh, senior at East Hartford High School, has been getting to know Chelsea Bailey, a sophomore at East Hartford High School, very well in chorus class. Uh, many of us may know Chelsea uh, from having her in class, seeing her rep um, our school in the swimming team, or just by, by passing her in the hallways. And last weekend, um, Chelsea, was um, awarded Miss Amazing Teen Queen, and um, Lauren Crooks was her pageant buddy. But and uh, so she won Miss Amazing Teen Queen at the state level, and now she has the opportunity to advance to the national pageant, which, which will be held in Chicago on August third, twenty eighteen. However, Chelsea's family and um, can't afford to send there so uh, Lauren Crooks has Lauren Crooks and her Chelsea's family have organized a GoFundMe page for Chelsea so you can get to know a little bit more about the campaign and make any donations or share the link to anyone who may be interested in helping them uh, reach the goal of seeing Chelsea beam on the stage again so uh, feel free to email either Lauren Crooks uh, her sister Chelsea's sister or her mom, uh, more information will be coming. So um, please, if you know Chelsea, even if you don't, help a, help a sister out, you know? The so, oh, you have that. Oh, my bad. Keep going. The East Hartford High School, I mean. No, it's not high school, just East Hartford. The East Hartford Prevention Idol, which is a youth talent show and contest, show will be at May 19th at 5 p.m. It will be free and open to the public, family friendly and for and refreshments, door prizes and audience voting. If you want to perform, you can register by May 11th and you have to register online or call Jen King, which is 860 Two nine one seven one eight three. This is open to East Harbor High School, middle school, and high school students. Okay. So. Um, oh yeah. Also, there will be there will be prizes, including some of the past prizes was. There will be prizes, and some of the past prizes was. Uh, tickets to launch, six flag price, six, six flag passes, candle fires, and much more. Mm -hmm. So uh, the National Chinese Honor Society induction at East Harbor High, uh, I mean at SIBA, happened a while, um, this week, I believe. And um, here are the members from the East Harbor chapter. We have Zianna Coleman. Angela Angelina D. Uh, Dominics. Angelina D. Dominics. We have Mariana Gensha. Ganesh. Le My bad, I'm sorry. Lena Horentum. Alyssa John. Michaela Catherine. Conticone. Oh, Conticone. 
Ni Lam, Nai Lam, sorry. Kayla McCog. Jennifer Navado, 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 I think, yeah, Jennifer Navado. <laughs> Fatima Lopez. Raymond Oliveira. I think that's right. Yeah. Alex. Alex Pichardo. Alex Pichardo. And Sarah Sen Sen Senethup. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and for C for the Cebu chapter, we have Aksir Bahura. Styram Ganesh. No. Siram. Siram Ganesh. Aisha Jallo. Benjamin Maxwell. Kayla Palmer. And Christy Wang. Yeah. So, we have a scoop. Um, we have the names of the top 20 students. Uh, the top 20 for the class of 2018. Uh, these calculations are based on the total number of quality points earned in four years of study. So these students came in as freshmen and have stayed the course, uh, have played part of this game that we do with quality points. But what they've done is they've put in a ton of hard work and effort throughout the four years. Uh, these students in alphabetical order are Jack Cochran, Lauren Crooks, Jada Haley, Sarah Fletcher, Christian Barrett, Nadal Hendo, Johnson Wong, Rizmi Innocent, Tazneem Islam, Efwa Kumson, Michael Lacton, Alyssa Lawrence, Sean Mallon, Thomas Marignano, Leanna Morissette, Bridget Nordy, Palvan Patel, Rojan Zamuda, Logan Satellino, and Luz Vargas. So if you guys could all uh, get your awards and then line up uh, in the front so people can take pictures of the top 20. They will also be celebrated at a top 20 dinner at Rensselaer Field with their uh, family. And one special East Harbor Public School employee, we will uh, be doing that yeah, on March 17th. Um, it's a great event for the families. And each student has about a two to three minute speech that uh, we have no idea what they're going to say when they come up, and hopefully uh, they don't embarrass too many people. Okay, we need to have um, Michael, you need to go into the middle of the group. Yep, right in the middle. So Michael Lachnid will be presented at graduation with a watch uh, from Anderson Jewelers. This is a long time tradition. And Michael Lachnid is the East Hartford High School valedictorian for the class of 2018. This is a high performing group. I want you to know, usually it takes the top 20 about eight minutes to get in the line. <laughs> So congratulations to the top 20 students. They've done the work, they've earned the recognition. And again, the top 20 dinner will be happening, I think on 17th of May. So be on the lookout for that. And that is all we have for you today. Uh, you have a good day, a good night, a good morning, whatever it is. And I'm Winta. Cameron. And this is us signing out. Alright, so what do I say? So, hi, well, what are you doing here today? Uh, so, we're here at the front of the school. We're just registering kids who are eligible to vote so they can uh, vote in the upcoming elections. So, th is that the list of all the kids who could yeah. register to vote? Yep, this is a list of all the uh, eligible uh, students in the school. So, so how many kids have you registered so far, more or less? Um, over 70, maybe. Over 70? Yeah. Okay. At least they were still. You don't know? But we still have the whole rest of the day to go, so hopefully. Right, this is, this is only 11 o'clock, so exactly. you have plenty of time to go still. Um, do they tell you what party they're registering for? Well, they write it on the form right Actually, pass me a blank form. This is the form right here. And so you can register for either your um, a party or you can just wish to not enroll into a party at the time. And maintain as an independent. Yeah.
Okay, but you guys are not keeping track of who does no. what or anything like that. That's You're not trying to sway the voters in no, any particular direction. No, absolutely not. I think we're just trying to sway people to participate and vote because these upcoming elections are very important. And, you know, we're the future leaders of America, so, so that as well. So whether they vote Republican or Socialist or Democratic or whatever, that's you just want people to vote? Yes, yeah. clearly on the Good. Thank you for supporting democracy, guys. Well no done. Problem. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Christian Garrett. I'm Ryan Lin. I'm Andre Bully, and we're here today to talk about our tennis team. Uh, East Hartford High School has had a very good tennis uh, program this year. We've gone five and one this year, so we're on par, hopefully, to make states this year. And it's pretty exciting knowing that, like when I first came into the school, the tennis program wasn't that strong. But seeing it grow through all four years that I've been playing has been a great experience for me. Absolutely, and I can, I can absolutely attest to the same thing that these gentlemen have said. Um, this has been a dream come true to be a part of such a wonderful, not team, but family. At the beginning of our season, we weren't really expecting to be at such a positive rate of uh, wins for our team. Being 5-1 right now is honestly a dream come true. Last year, we were battling tooth and nail for every game, and we're doing that this year, too. But... To be this positive so early in the season, just an absolutely great feeling. Um, we definitely didn't do it that easily like we would want to, but like there was a lot of battles that we had to go through, especially uh, our close matches like Enfield, where it was a 4-3 win, where any changes in the matches could have caused us to lose. And those, those are the games that are my favorite, honestly, because the intense nature of the matches just make it so much better. And adding on to that, a close match should be our next home uh, match, which is Simsbury. And this game will most likely determine if we make states or not. Like, we need this win, and it will be gladly, we will gladly appreciate you guys coming on and supporting us on the tennis. Um, we are really making history here at East River High School, and we are hoping to make everyone proud. Um, a way that you guys can support us, if you would like, is you guys can come to our McDonald's fundraiser on Glastonbury Main Street on May 10th from 5 to 7. Uh, some proceeds will go to the tennis team to help support our program. Uh, we hope you can be there. We'd really appreciate it. You'd have to order inside the restaurant, McDonald's. And if you go through the drive-thru, you just have to give them your receipt and tell them that you want to donate that to the East Hartford tennis team. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact any one of us or Coach Reynolds in the SAC office. All right. Thank you.